50 years ago, another local school earned a spot in the biggest tournament of its day. And as Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn shows us, that team also drew big crowds to the old Olympia and State Fair Coliseum. In the late 1940s and early 1950s, Lawrence Tech's basketball team was a big draw. They would attract literally tens of thousands of people to these games. This was an era when uh, really the only other winter sport in town was uh, the Red Wings, and uh, Lawrence Tech really kind of became Detroit's team. Lawrence Tech had its start in Highland Park, and Dick Marburger watched those teams growing up. He later would become the school's president. They were good for one thing, which I really appreciate thinking back. They were really good. They played CCNY, which the college, uh, City College of New York, and Nat Holman. Very big names in those days, and they could really hold their own against them. They were so good, little Lawrence Tech was invited to play in the National Invitation Tournament in 1951 against the top basketball schools of the day. The NIT really, at that time, was the biggest uh, national tournament uh, in the country and uh, the NIT uh, at Madison Square Garden it was uh, it was a very uh, big deal. Don Riddler coached all the sports at Lawrence Tech at the time but he was also a promoter. All these games were coupled with dances by big name orchestras the, the Louis Armstrong, the Stan Kenton, uh, all the big orchestras of the day and uh, they, they called it quaintly Ballyhoo and Basketball too. so you'd have tens of thousands of people coming to the basketball game immediately followed by these huge dances. Lawrence Tech's Fieldhouse is named in Riddler's honor. It was built in 1987, more than two decades after the school dropped the sport. While it may never match the glory days, Lawrence Tech University is planning a return to basketball. The school will again field a team starting with a 2012-2013 academic year. In Southfield, Dave Llewellyn, Channel 7, Action News. Great piece of history.